Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Bobby Watts. I'm Gabe Revolta. And today we're going to demonstrate Prism Sky being used as a package delivery drone. Our drones are used for a wide variety of applications. So for today's video, we're going to be demonstrating Prism Sky being used simply as a delivery drone. Now, along with Prism Sky, we have our real delivery winch, which we've created from the ground up to allow users to either smoothly lower the package down to the ground uh, with our onboard winch or to just eject the payload once it's close to the ground. Everything we're going to be demonstrating today is in full production and available for purchase now. So first, let's dive into the tech. So here we are with a stock Prism Sky aircraft. This is our coaxial X8 system that's capable of flying at an all-up weight of 55 pounds. It's NDAA compliant and quite modular. We have hundreds of these drones out in the wild, and so far they just seem to be very reliable and working for our customers day in and day out. Next, we have our ultralight batteries. These are our ultralight 12S batteries that are allowing flight times of up to 35 minutes, depending on payload. But today we're going to be flying at an all-up weight of around 53 pounds, so that would yield a flight time of just about 22 minutes. The only piece of equipment necessary to perform deliveries with Prism Sky is our Real Intelligent Delivery Witch. Real is capable of performing two methods of deliveries. The first is just simply an eject. We have an eject mechanism where you can load the package or a payload of any sort and you can either program autonomously or manually hit a button to eject the payload. So this means you can just simply drop the payload while in flight or you can hover a foot above the ground and just drop it or the aircraft can simply land and just drop the payload. The other method of delivery is what we call a winch style delivery which allows the aircraft to maintain a hover at an altitude of up to 125 feet and can slowly lower the package down to the ground. We can accept a package of up to 10 pounds for both the eject and the winch style deliveries. Other than a stock Prism Sky, ultralight batteries, and reel, we simply have a downward facing distance sensor which gets attached to the landing gear, which simply allows the drone to know its distance above the ground when performing a delivery. Now that we've seen the tech, let's load a package and get flying. While drone delivery and the execution of moving cargo from point A to point B can really be done anywhere, today we're just gonna show it in our isolated test facility. So we do have some customers performing residential deliveries today with the exact same tech that you're gonna be seeing here during our uh, test. This can be used for residential deliveries as well as just moving cargo from point A to point B. So for today's mission, while we are out here at our isolated test facility, we're gonna be performing a one and a half mile cruise with a payload. We're then going to drop down to an altitude of approximately 80 feet, execute a winch style delivery, and then fly back about another mile and a half, giving us about a uh, two and a half to three mile total cruise. So with this aircraft here and its payload, we're capable of flying just about a six mile uh, round trip delivery, even with a 10 pound payload. So this means we can do three miles, deliver 10 pounds, and go back another three miles and land with plenty to spare. So next we're gonna demonstrate how to load the package. So we've got the aircraft booted up in its safety state right now, meaning it cannot arm without us pressing the hardware safety switch. So we know we're safe to approach the aircraft. On the back of reel, there's three buttons. On the left is the ability to open and close the eject slot. In the middle is the ability to just freewheel the line so that we could pull the line, maybe change it out, or just inspect it as necessary. And then on the right side is the uh, loading of the delivery mechanism. So we're gonna be hitting the green button on the right side to load a package. So simply to load the package, you just have to hit the green button. The hook drops down, presents itself. Simply put the package on the hook, press it again. It brings it up, loads the package, locks the pin, and then disengages the motor. While all that's going on, we're actually taking some readings to determine the weight of the package because then we feed those numbers into our software so that that way when the package is delivered, it delivers with the correct parameters necessary for the weight of that specific package on that specific mission. So the package has been loaded and we're about ready to go. So uh, one quick mention for the ground station. Today we're just using a uh, tough book for the ground control station, running our Alterian mission control application, as well as a Doodle Labs external 2.4 gigahertz radio unit and a lithium battery. So this is just a great way for those who wish to use a laptop to just be flying the aircraft. 
And then also to mention, we have no sticks. Uh, we're just gonna be running an autonomous mission with the ability to take over control at any time, to click buttons to return the home, go here, land, uh, make emergency uh, actions as necessary. But right now, basically, we're just gonna be telling it to go and it'll fly. So, uh, Gabe, are you good to go, sir? Ready for flight, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's do it. So the drone is out there in the distance, uh, cruising at approximately 30 miles an hour. And uh, we're just going through various waypoints. And this is just navigating a traditional waypoint mission. Drone delivery takes some time, you know, we have to be patient. So the drone is rounding its final corner. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna come in at 30 miles an hour at 100 feet. The way we've programmed the mission is it's going to gently descend to 80 feet and then perform a winch style delivery. And here we go. The package is now autonomously being lowered by the winch and it's gonna drop until about 10 feet above the ground. As we're approximately 10 feet above the ground, the package is then going to be slowly lowered towards the ground and we're going to be sensing for the ground the entire time. Once the package gently touches the ground, the hook falls off and begins reeling up back to the drone. Now that the hook is back up into the drone, it'll continue the autonomous mission. Now that we're 10 pounds lighter, the aircraft is going to have a much easier time flying home without that 10 pound payload. So now it's gonna resume its mission without its payload, um, traverse back through the waypoints, and then autonomously land right where we took off. Okay, so the aircraft is approximately three quarters of the way through its mission right now, and we're just kind of rounding the turn here. We still have over 75% of our battery left. So this just proves that even a multi-rotor um, of this size, cruising at a decent speed at around 30 miles an hour, we're still able to cover a considerable amount of distance. Okay, so the aircraft has completed its mission and we're coming in 10 pounds lighter than when we took off. And so now it's just gonna, basically gonna go to the landing point and execute an autonomous landing. And there we have it, a fully autonomous 10 pound delivery of around two and a half to three miles. In addition to winch deliveries, Real and Prism Sky are also capable of performing autonomous eject missions. So in this case, we've programmed another autonomous mission to where the aircraft is simply gonna to descend to one foot, hover, and then just eject the package straight out of midair. Loading a package or object for an ejection style delivery couldn't be easier. Simply press the blue button on the rear of reel, load the package or object, and press the blue button once more. Once the ejection slot closes, you're ready to go. So there we have it. There's Prism Sky and Reel in action. So today we demonstrated winch style deliveries as well as just the ability to eject a payload while in flight. So if you believe that technology like this can help you and your organization step up to another level of package delivery, then please feel free to reach out. Head to our website, watsinnovations.com, and we'd be happy to put together a quote and package for you to begin doing autonomous deliveries and cargo hauling. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.